China just made it real. And it's not just any small update, it's a big leap. This new AI agent is called UITARS 1.5, and it's built by a company you may have heard of before, ByteDance, the same company that made TikTok. So, what makes UITARS 1.5 so scary and powerful? Before we start, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you love learning about powerful AI tools and tech updates. It only takes a second, but it really helps us keep bringing you the best content. Let's say you take a screenshot of your computer screen. Normally, AI would need to break that image down, look for code, find buttons, and then guess what to do next. But UITARS 1.5? It doesn't need all that. It looks at your screen just like a human would. One big picture. It reads everything, understands where things are, and then acts, just like someone sitting in front of the screen. It's like giving your computer eyes, a brain, and fingers all in one AI. Before, AI had to follow a bunch of steps like using tools, reading code behind the scenes, or using special instructions. But this AI sees your screen, understands what's needed, and then clicks, types, or scrolls, just like you would. It's like magic, but it's real. The older version of Utah was already smart, but version 1.5 is much stronger. There are now three types, a small one, 2 billion parameters, a medium one, 7 billion, and a huge one, 72 billion. These parameters are like brain cells for the AI. The more it has, the smarter it gets. And what did ByteDance teach this AI to do? Almost everything. It can look at websites, apps, software like Microsoft Word, even design tools like CAD. They showed it thousands of buttons, menus, icons, even tiny ones just 10 pixels wide. It learned to recognize shapes, colors, and positions. One example? It can tell that a little blue square with a floppy disk icon is a save button. But recognizing things isn't enough. It also needs to act. That's where it gets even cooler. They taught UITARS 1.5 how to click, drag, scroll, type, press buttons, and even use hotkeys. It knows when to press back on a phone or right-click with a mouse. If it gets stuck, like on a login screen, it can even ask for help. This AI is built to handle long tasks too. It's not just about clicking once, it can go through 15 steps in a row without messing up. That's why it works better than other AIs like ChatGPT or Claude when it comes to using real apps. And guess what? It thinks before it acts. Just like humans use quick thinking and slow thinking, Utah has two modes. One is fast, just do it. The other is slow and careful. Think first, then act. That second part makes it really powerful. So how did they teach UITARS 1.5 to think before acting? ByteDance gave it millions of examples. They found tutorials, screenshots, how-to guides, and step-by-step -step lessons from all over the internet. Then they cleaned everything and trained the AI with it. Before clicking anything, Utah now gives a little thought to itself, like saying, okay, I see the search box, time to type the username. It's like the AI has an inner voice, just like we do when solving a tough puzzle. But what if it makes a mistake? Here's where it gets even smarter. ByteDance didn't hide the AI when it failed. Instead, they let it explore hundreds of virtual computers, the AI messed up a lot, but each time it made a mistake, they marked what it did wrong and what the correct move should have been. Then they trained it again using those examples, helping it learn from its mistakes. Just like humans get better by practicing and failing, UITARS 1.5 got sharper by doing the same. Talk about performance. This AI isn't just cool, it's winning tests. On one test called OS World, where agents have 50 steps to complete computer tasks, Utah scored 42.5% success with only 100 tries. That's better than OpenAI's Operator, which got 36.4%, and Claude, which got just 28%. On Android tasks, the smaller 7B version of Utah scored 64.2%, also higher than all the others. Even when it comes to pointing at the right thing on a screen, like a button or an icon, Utah is amazing. One test called ScreenSpot Vi2 showed Utah hitting 94.2% accuracy. That's nearly perfect, while others like Operator and Claude were below 88%. And in games, 
UITARS 1.5 is a beast. They tested it on 14 minigames like 2048, Snake, and Infinity Loop. The result? It beat every single game, 100% success. Meanwhile, other agents failed in half of them. Even on tough games like Minecraft Mining or Monster Hunting, UITARS 1.5 reached over 40%, while older AIs couldn't even score above 1%. So why is it doing so well? Because it's not just reacting fast, it's thinking ahead. When you give it more chances to figure things out, like 16 or 64 tries, it performs even better. That shows the AI isn't just randomly guessing, it's planning, reflecting, and picking the best path forward. And here's the coolest part. ByteDance didn't keep this a secret. They released the 7B model on Hugging Face for free. You can download it and try it for yourself. If you want the big 72B model, you just have to email them and tell them what your project is. Plus, they shared all the tools, training data, and code on GitHub. You can even create your own version or add your own data. No need to pay any license fees. Now, let's take a step back and talk about why this matters so much. In the past, AI agents were a bit like robots with missing parts. Some could understand what they saw, but didn't know how to act. Others could click or type, but had no idea what they were looking at. Some needed tons of rules and instructions just to do one simple task. And if the app or website changed even a little bit, the whole thing would break. But UITARS 1.5 changes that. This new AI agent brings everything together in one brain. It can see, understand, plan, act, and remember, all at once. ByteDance focused on four big things. Perception, knowing what's on the screen. Action, clicking and typing in the right places. Reasoning, thinking fast or slow depending on the task. Memory, remembering recent steps or what worked before. And because it learns from data, not just rules, it can adapt. That means when an app updates or the layout changes, UTAR doesn't freak out. It figures things out, just like a human would. The training process also had three big stages. First, they trained it on everything, images, text, actions. Then, they filtered only the best examples, especially ones where the AI had to figure out what changed on the screen. Finally, they used preference learning, which means teaching the model that good actions are rewarded and mistakes are corrected. This final model is called UITARS 1.5 DPO, and it's the one getting the highest scores on all the big tests. Even on tasks it never saw before, like brand new mobile apps, UITARS 1.5 still performs well. That's because it's not memorizing answers, it's learning how to think. When it uses its thought mode, it can handle weird problems better than the fast reflex mode. Just like how humans slow down and think when something unexpected happens, UTAR does too. And here's one more reason people are calling this the most dangerous AI agent from China. It's open. That means developers around the world can use it, test it, and even build products on top of it. No need to hide behind a paywall or secret code. You can plug it into a website, a desktop app, or even a mobile game. You can train it on hospital software, shopping platforms, or anything with a screen. The possibilities are huge. So if you've ever dreamed of an AI that doesn't just answer questions but actually uses your computer for you, this is it. UITARS 1.5 can open apps, fill out forms, click through menus, and even win games. And it does it all by looking, thinking, and acting like a human. This isn't science fiction anymore. It's happening right now. And China just dropped the most advanced version of it yet. So, what would you do if you had an AI like UITARS 1.5 at your fingertips? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this breakdown, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more deep dive AI videos. See you in the next one.